In this lesson, we're going to take two wireless modules called XBs and plug them into two Arduinos, enabling us to communicate between the two Arduinos wirelessly. We're going to, to do a very simple wireless project. We're going to turn on an LED that's plugged into one Arduino with a button plugged into the other Arduino and vice versa. All right, let's get started. Okay, um, here are the parts that you need to do this project. First, of course, the Arduino and breadboard and another Arduino and another breadboard. Um, I didn't make another protoboard. I just have one. Okay, here's what the important part. These are the two XB modules, um, and you can buy these from Adafruit, and I'll be popping up a parts number for you. Or you can get them from other places, SparkFun as well. A couple LEDs, a couple push buttons, and some jumpers are all you need. Okay, let's wire up the modules. As I mentioned, there are two identical modules, um, but I'll just show one just for the sake of time. All right, let's start off by adding the XB and the push button. And also the LED. Just put the LED under the long pin under 13 and the short pin under ground, just as usual. All right, um, to begin with, let's uh, plug in the button from ground to pin eight. And also, um, let's plug, connect the ground to the ground pin on the Arduino. Next, let's connect, oops, the button fell out. Okay, next let's connect five volts on the Arduino to, oops, I'm gonna need a longer uh, jumper, but uh, connect it to five volts on the, um, on the Arduino. Ground can plug into the ground bus. Um, and lastly, we need to handle our data connections, which TX and RX, which are um, TX is digital pin one and RX is digital p pin zero. And basically that's the way that it does its serial um, connection. So um, TX plugs into RX and RX plugs into TX. There you have it. And also, I have this other one all made up. And once I program them, I should be able to press this button. This green button here turns on this green LED over here. And this red button turns on this red LED. OK, let's check out the sketch. This is from my book, Arduino for Beginners. Um, and it was one of the projects in the book. OK. Uh, button pin 8, we already know that, and LED pin 13. Um, the button state is 0, so basically that's a little um, placeholder initialization for the button. So um, the Arduino knows that it defaults at 0. Um, we're uh, declaring the LED output and the button pin um, input pull up. Um, now, what exactly does that mean? What this input pull up thing does is it basically helps resolve the um, the the button press. Sometimes you press a button and for whatever reason it doesn't take either because you have um, the wiring 
done in a non-ideal fashion. Or else, um, um, or else just due to the fact that you're, uh, you're, you're not getting enough voltage from your um, pin when you press the button that the Arduino has a hard time identifying the fact that a button has been pressed. The input pull-up um, basically helps steer the um, the button button push to a positive um, press. You know, it makes it basically easier for it the Arduino to tell that it has been pressed. All right, now this is this process incoming commands thing um, is a is a function. And basically, it is um, interpreting the data coming from the um, XB, and um, and then determining either that it's either as one or a zero, and that's what this switch case thing is. Um, it's saying, okay, there's two possibilities here: case one or case zero, and that's based on um, the 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 information it's getting across the wireless network. Um, um, and then and then here's the actual loop. Uh, you have um, the processing process incoming command function that we just looked at and um, it says uh, basically that's where it happens in the loop. But also simultaneously, you have the button push portion, and it says if the button is pressed, then serial 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 write one, and if the um, button is not pressed, it writes zero. And that's basically it. So basically, you have two identical modules. One is is um, sending out either a one or a zero depending on whether it is um, the button is pressed or not. And it's also listening for a one or a zero. And if it gets a one, it turns on its LED and the other module is just like it. All right, let's test it out. Okay, I have the two modules set up um, and you can see that the green light is flashing on the XBs and the red light is steady. The green light is power, a power indicator and the red light is um, a signal strength and that means that it when both lights are lit up that it is t they are talking to each other so if i press the green button the green led over here turns on and when i press the red button the red led goes on so there you have it that's it for series six you learned how to use uh, xp modules to talk to each other well uh, i guess that's it for this lesson Thanks for watching.